I'm a pit bull, and I approve this message. I'm a pit bull and I approve this message. Hello, everyone, uh, boys and girls, moms and dads, and everyone around the world and all the ships at sea. Welcome. Uh, I'm Foster Carter, and this is Conversations with a Pit Bull. <laughs> all right. Uh, Danny Mason, my partner in uh, everything that I do is not here today. As a matter of fact, our show may run a little short today. Uh, I just wanted to make this statement because I'll be leaving here going to um, a funeral with Danny. Not for Danny, but uh, his family. Uh, Danny had two uh, family members uh, pass away this week. So all that drama and all the shit that you think, and oh, I, I didn't curse, did I, Chris? Okay. All the stuff that you think is important and so immediate and uh, drama, <laughs> it's not. You know, you woke up this morning, you got out of the bed on your own, so you're still here. So, uh, you know, Danny, I'll see you and, uh, you know, we, you know, our hearts and souls are with you, man. It's nothing like uh, the parenting. Paula Archer, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, baby. Good to see you. You know? All right. You woke up this morning. All right. So yes. I'm going I'm to start this off uh, by saying today is a different kind of show, okay? Uh, today pretty much is just going to be me responding to uh, the things that have gone on in the past week and two. All right. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, um, we started... Uh, shows, episodes on trolling and internet trolls, Facebook bullies, and things of this nature. Well, little did I know uh, from that show, and uh, just so you know, the Tuesday episode, I have not aired it. I haven't put it up online, and I, it isn't on the Foster's Animal World page, and probably won't be because of I'm holding it for further review until after I can get responses and different things and feedback and research some of the material because it's a lot of you know and a lot of you may not know. We've been doing this for close to three years now. We've got hundreds of hours of, uh, you know, interviews and support for rescues and groups on the web. And this show, I started for two things, you know, uh, education through entertainment and Tuesday's show wasn't um it wasn't as it wasn't entertaining but it was very 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 educational and it was more educational for me than it was for anybody else because these are topics you know my whole thing with fighting and fighting in the community it's all about the dogs for us period a hundred percent and these are issues that I've seen that the dogs losing. And what happened, Paula, I was, I was uh, terrorized, I was bullied, I was, uh, I was trolled to death, and I got the definition of trolls, internet trolling, from um, someone that sent me on the web, all right? Really, really good stuff, right? Um, 
I was attacked, and I didn't really lose it until you were attacked, Paula, and because, you know, these people who were attacking, they don't know me. Most of these people, and the funny thing, a lot of people had problems with the show, and 90% of the people who was uh, posting negative stuff, I mean, because they said Foster shit show, and this guy is a wannabe this, and one, I don't want to be nothing. I am, I am who I am. <laughs> God has been good to me. Uh, I've had a blessed life. I'm helping dogs. The only thing I want to be is that guy who did something for the dogs. That's the only thing I want to be. That guy who helped the people in rescue. That guy who changed some things. That guy who opened up the conversation for things being better in the animal world. That's the only thing I want to be. And you're damn right if you say want to be, but that's the only thing you can say this boy wants to be because I'm really good at, you know, being who I am. But, um, you know, 90% of the people that gave this, this rhetoric feedback and this hate, uh, they never even saw the show, you know? So... It, it becomes, which I'm going to get to, is this mob mentality, right? Now, this is, the, I need to digress for a second. And I'm going to try to be brief, guys, but this is very important. There's a lot of stuff that I try to cover quickly. First of all, it's really um, incredible that how the universe works. The fact that today we are doing this and talking about this subject because it's two things happen. Um, you know, people dogging me and my company, and my company is called Daughters to Feed, so I'm very pro-woman and pro-girl. And, and today, the U.S. women soccer team, you know, they had their first ticker tape parade in New York City for a female team, which, you know, that's a blessing, right? That's a wonderful, wonderful thing, and we should all rejoice in that. Secondly, uh, because that's all about love, you know, that's the love. And that's what I want to talk about today is love and compassion and stopping the hate and, and changing the, the negative approach on Facebook and amongst the rescue groups and forgiveness for people being able to do something wrong a year ago, two years ago, and people not holding it against them forever and beating them down and destroying people's lives and reputations because somebody made a mistake and the fact that if you made a mistake, stop being so self-righteous and, and, and so guarded that people can't communicate and talk to you and help you be a better person, help you get over the mistake that you made, because it's all about the dogs. It's not about all these uh, um, egotistic, narcissistic, uh, self-righteous people. Human beings, you know, most of these people are acting like school kids, 10 year old school kids arguing nanny, nanny, nanny on the schoolyard. You know, that's ridiculous. And dogs are dying because of you. Now, the only thing that I think should take precedence, the only thing that the people who consider themselves to be the Facebook police and and the risk because rescue does need some sort of group. And we're going to talk about that later because that's what I want this show to be. Is that for the community where we can stop the people who are doing the wrong stuff, any illegal activity, anything illegal, we need to jump on that needs to be exposed. We need to stop it. But everything else uh, we can't we, you know, we have to stop the bickering and the arguing and all of the little petty fighting. But let me digress. Um, I'm sorry, the phone, that's his, this has been it. <laughs> I had so many messages and I don't, you know, people were arguing at me and screaming at me about their messages. But um, look, I, I lost my train of thought there, Paula. Uh, was any of that makes any sense, Paula? Most definitely. Okay, I want to do this. I want to I want to take a commercial for a second so I can gather my thoughts, and we'll continue with this because I I just lost my train of thought because I've been so upset, and I got notes and um, I think there's something with the funeral on the phone, so I need to deal with. It. So, Chris, can we? Take 30 seconds, one minute. We'll be right back. If you want to know what's going on, stick around, and we'll be back in one minute.
Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. Conversations with a Pitbull Live, a show about dogs, the people that love them, and real issues. Brought to you by Pitbull Energy Drink. Available in a wide variety of flavors, guaranteed no aftertaste. CWAPB Live will be right back after this dog fact of the day. The best dog to reportedly attract a date is a golden retriever. The worst is a pit bull. Please support your local rescue groups. They do more to support your community than any others. All right. Hey, uh, hiphopbev.com. Hiphopbev.com. Uh, that's our sponsor. Which one? Uh, People threaten to go after to try to get us off the air. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's so funny. Ladies and gentlemen, let me inform you guys for something. This is the internet, okay? This is the web. This is an internet based television radio show, okay? You can't take me off the air, okay? You're gonna shut down the internet, all right? This is, is, this is America, is free speech. So let me go back to this. Um, and you take away my sponsor. I paid for this show myself, okay? Uh, nobody, guys. This show, just in, not to mention Paula's time and my time in real time of what, you know, it cost. But, you know, just the time we put on the air is 500 bucks a week. Give me that. Anybody out there that has an opinion, pay that, okay? Otherwise, you know, try to be part of the solution. So... Moving on, um, part of what needs to happen in the rescue community, Paula, and I haven't talked to you about any of this. I'm just spewing right now because I'm just really, really flaming and I'm kind of livid about the whole situation because we haven't done anything but be positive and put out positive energy and support for everybody. So for a couple of, you know... <sighs> The bigger picture is this. There is trolling going on. There is hate going on, on, a, on uh, within the rescue community. What I'm calling for, what I'm asking is for people to wake up and have a different attitude. You know, we need to promote love because I want to feel and I want to think that most people in rescue have good intentions. A lot, you know, people have made mistakes. People have made errors. People have done stuff. But it's just too much anger out there. And it's the egos, the little bitty egos. Get over it. You know, mo uh, people have jobs like I have jobs. People, Paula, people dogged me for not returning messages for two days. Uh, based upon, like I don't have anything to do but sit up on Facebook. What we have to do is we have to lift up the love and pull down the hate. You know, um, one person said something. They sent me a message, and I'm not calling names now. Now, Tuesday, we're going to continue the conversation from this past Tuesday show. I didn't air that show because I felt it was very unfair to a lot of people who didn't get to uh, have feedback. I contacted a lot of the names that was mentioned on there. And um, so certain people are going to come in next week and, and combat that. Then I may take both the shows and I'll edit them together and make it fair in a response or a question and answer or just have everybody in together. But that is just one little situation. You know, the thing is the overall picture, the big picture is we need to be supporting each other because rescue, you know, you guys don't realize, you know, there was this, there's two statements. One, someone said, um, and I think I got the picture uh, somewhere in my files. It said, how are we going to, fight the enemy if we fight in each other okay 
uh, a lot of that is going on. And what's happening? The dogs are dying. Uh, the dogs are dying. Dogs are not getting adopted. Dogs aren't getting homes. You know, shelters are constantly killing, you know, animals. Uh, groups like the ASBCA and the Humane Society is making tons of money, and all you guys are going broke. All you guys are putting money into dogs, and dogs are not being saved. And they, these people are, they've got the general public's ear. You know, uh, Cindy Marabito wrote an article in the Pitbull Examiner that I read today that the uh, ASPCA in New York earned, they, they raised from people from those f commercials and whining and crying and, you know, violin music and $85 million. $85 million last year, Paula. Okay? And you guys are fighting amongst each other. Over, over bullshit. You know, we have to lower the hate. You know, the, the thing that you guys have to understand is most of you are angry. And you have right to be angry. Most of you are angry, 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 and mad. And you have nothing to strike out at. Nobody to strike out. So you're eating each other alive. That's what you're doing. You know, and the reason that you're angry is because the situation in the animal community. And particularly in the dog community. So you guys are, uh, are acting like a bunch of pit bulls. You're grabbing onto a little something because you're so angry and you won't let it go. And it's eating you alive and it's eating up each other. You know, the reason that you're angry is because of just like at L.A. Animal Services, the Brenda Barnett's, the Mayor Garcetti's not paying attention to what's going on and the situation not changing. The situation hasn't changed for years because you guys are all scattered. You scattered. The reason that I want this show to support the community, I started this show to support the community. How come you get, we can't use this show to expose the bad stuff and to inform everybody of what needs to be done? Move as a group. The politicians pay attention to numbers. Okay, that's what you guys are doing with your numbers. When you want to bash somebody, when you want to bullshit somebody to keep a thread going for six months over, oh, I don't like that person. That's insane, people. That's insanity. And that's what the people who are anti-animal activists want you guys to be portrayed as. They want all animal activists to be portrayed as some old lady with a house full of cats. That's what they think about you guys. Or some group of insane people throwing red paint on people's fur coats. That's the average Joe Public, John Q. Public's opinion of an animal activist. And I know that to be untrue. I know that's a lie. But you guys playing right into the, the, to, to the game. You know, another statement, another quote, Paula, was that uh, a guy said, I've seen the enemy and it's us. That's what you guys are doing. You got to change the rhetoric. I will use this show. I will change our format to whatever it needs to be to support the community. But how come I'm right now we're not talking about, let's say, in Chicago or Atlanta, Paula, there's a bill, there's a, there's a, a, a law for anti-BSL. Uh, Right. Or it's a, a BSL law that they're trying to pass right now in one of these cities. But we're talking about bullying and stuff. Right. But if the whole community was together, instead of the people in Chicago fighting this uh, uh, BSL law by themselves in their little group, getting out, protesting and whatever they're doing. What if the community was so together that we could announce that and there would be 10,000, 20,000 emails going to councilmen, going to the mayor's office in that particular city, in Chicago, Atlanta, or Miami, or wherever it is. An email address does not have an address, a, a, a zip code on it. It doesn't have a physical address. But if the local group fighting BSL or fighting whatever this animal law that needs to be paid attention to, that needs support, from a community that doesn't exist right now, if those local people had 20,000 emails to present to the city council or to the mayor, they would be in a position to help stop some of the stuff that's happening. But you guys would rather spend your time focusing on one person in one city for a year. It's insane, okay? So I'm saying 
I don't care. They have a uh, uh, what, uh, Chris? Do you have that that statement that they play at the top of the show on most of the shows? Play, hit that button for me. Okay, check the this out. The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by his hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of RMCOnAir.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Bam. Okay, so <laughs> this is the Internet. These people don't care what I say. You can get mad. You can get upset. You can say, oh, they said my name. I'm not calling anybody's name yet, but I will in a couple of weeks because I don't give a damn. I'm reporting on what I find and what I see, and I'm trying to tell the truth, and that's why I, I didn't broadcast that other show because I don't know it to be the truth. Those people said what they said, and God, if that's what's happening to them, I feel sorry for them. If they lie to me then I'll find out about that you know that is the one thing about this community you know you guys are tattletales like a mom <laughs> okay everybody I know everything and I find out everything and I'm and you know if you're afraid to you know stand up for something you said or something you did then you know you need to be out of the you know as they say if you can't stand the heat get out of the kitchen so um, if you can help make this show better, if you have a suggestion, just like Paula, listen, I don't know the rescue community. I know several people, a lot of people that I respect in the rescue community around the country, but there does need to be a, a rescue community, a rescue police, just because it's all about the dogs. If people are doing bad stuff with dogs, if people are, are scamming money for dogs, if people are selling dogs under the eyes, uh, under the guise of a rescue, and they're taking dogs to this city or to this country, Paula, and they are selling them to for animal experiments, or they are doing stuff, they're selling, doing dog fighting. If that illegal, underhanded, low-life stuff is happening, there needs to be a committee of rescue people that all of you guys respect. We'll use this show. You should be able to drop a dime, but you can't beat somebody up because they're trying to be a rescuer and they're trying to do stuff and they made a mistake a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. You can't just keep on with that rhetoric. If you don't like somebody, you know, Facebook and, and all of this stuff, it's just like television. Turn it off. Change the channel. If you don't like what I'm saying right now, hit that button right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause while somebody can cut me off. Paula. Cut me off. Cut me off. Uh, all right, good. All right, now that we got rid of them losers, I'm going to continue. You know, the, the thing is this. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to make us better because the rescue community needs to be better because the dogs need it to be better. And, and we can't just keep on going on in that same old, you know, fashion where the dogs are. I think I'm pretty much done with my rant, Paula. I got, if you want to say something about that? Because it's probably something I left out, but I'll come the, the hate and the forgiveness part. That's what I want to do. I want to start a new day. Whatever happened, whatever has happened af before today on Facebook with any rescue group that you had a problem with, with any individual that lied on you, that talked about your mama, that talked about your sister, that said something about you, they posted a picture, they posted a video, they did whatever. Anything that, what, that isn't related to saving a dog's life. As of today, along with, that's what I was, I lost my train of thought earlier, Paula. Along with the fucking Confederate flag, it's down. It is buried. Okay, I'm black. Confederate flag, you can say whatever you want to say. Oh, it's tradition, it's hair. Bullshit, everybody and their mama knows that it's about racism. Okay, first of all, if the North had a one, the flag wouldn't be flying at all. <laughs> the stars and stripes wouldn't be flying. So let's be realistic. What purpose has it done? The flag came down today. The women got a ticker tape parade. And we are entering negative ass bickering on Facebook, Paula. How about that? Huh? Okay, all in the same day. They, they, they hacked Wall Street. Okay, so we're talking about internet bullying and trolling on the internet, on Facebook. All right? This is the same day all of this is happening. The animal activists came together and decided to wipe the slate clean and start all over. For once, finally, 
No more little itty bitty bickering. But if you are doing something illegal, we will hunt your ass down and run you out of town. Okay, plain and simple. I want the dogs to get, I want people networking dogs. You know, Paula, what you do, you know, what you guys do. I don't want to, don't involve me. Don't even mention my name on some bullshit that's about he said, she said, nanner, nanner, nanner. That's nine, nine, ten years old. I raised my daughters better than that. You know, you guys are grown people. Are you going to be that lady? That crazy old lady with the house full of cats? Are you going to be the person that makes a difference? S step out there with love, man. Let's lose the hate. Try to help each other. I try to make everybody better. Because, you know, all of the vegans, okay? People who are vegans and, and, and the health, people run, Paula, and try to make, they, they pay attention to what they put in their mouths and their bodies and their intake to try to be better people. But they don't pay attention and they're not aware of the media that they take in. You know, the media that you guys are watching, the news programs, the television programs, the stuff you watch on the Internet, it's all set up with a grand design of creating fear in you and making you angry and changing the universe and bringing you into a place of negativity and add bills upon you. You got to counter that. You got to wake up every day trying to wake up with light. You got to try to wake up with an attitude of helping people, of looking at people as better people, as good people, instead of looking at people and seeing negative and looking at people and seeing people bad. That's the way we're going to change it. That's the only way it can be at the end of the day. We have to change it. You have to be careful. When we see these posts of people, animal abusers, beating dogs, scalding dogs, doing all of this stuff, we intake that. That has an effect on you, and that makes you angry. And what do you do? You go right to the next post, and you take that anger out on somebody who is trying to help, but they might have made a mistake. But you don't agree with them, so you're going to be angry at them, and you're going to vent what you just ingested out on these other individuals, and the dogs die. That's what's happening. When we watch the 6 o'clock news, we find out about an asshole shooting up a church. When we find out about this, this person escaping, we're living in fear. Let's lose the fear. The dogs are the ones that's in fear. The dogs that are in those cages and the dogs that's getting ready to get shot up with needles. The dogs that's being sold to some unscrupulous bastard. Those are the ones, that's where the fear lies. We don't have the fear. We woke up this morning. We got out the bed on our own. We have the internet. We had enough electricity to be able to turn on. So I'm saying I don't have all the answers, but I know what ain't working. That's what I do know. And let's, I'm open. You know, my email's open. You guys know me. I, everybody's talking about me and talking shit. So if you want something positive to say, you know where I'm at. You know, let's make a difference, man. Let's live with love, because that's where I'm coming from. I swear to God, I just can't entertain anything negative because it doesn't do any good, and we have to change the rhetoric. So the Confederate flag came down. Hate on Facebook is coming down, and, and it might be a pipe dream, you know? It's like just some people thrive on that, and that's where they'll be at. But we're going to leave them alone. We're going to let them lay in their little world, and we're going to do the ticker tape parade with the women's soccer team who beat Japan and it's, you know it's all about love man so Paula uh, I'm done with my rant let's get you know did, I know that sound, I'm totally crazy right I have something to say okay <laughs> you know how this always turns out if the people out there want somebody to rag on, if they want somebody to hate on, focus on me. It don't bother me. It rolls off my back. I don't care what you say. No, it's you not about you, though, page. baby. That's what I'm saying. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. It ain't about me. It ain't about none of these humans. It's none of these two-foot walking around people. It's about the dogs, man. It's the only reason this show is here. I don't have, This show is not here for, you know... For me, I don't care, okay? I'm in the film business. People, my friends is pissed off at me. I lost a lot of friends because of this whole dog thing that I'm, you know, ignorance is bliss. 
if I hadn't found out about the situation in the dog world, if I didn't, if I hadn't been a pit bull owner for 35 years and I know they're getting a bad rap and they're being overbred and all this other stuff that's happening with them, I wouldn't be doing this. If I had, yeah. didn't know, if I wasn't aware of where the help was needed, I'd be about me. I'd be doing the stuff for me. I wouldn't spend $2,000 a month on dog issues, supporting, trying to support rescues and all this other stuff. So it ain't about you, Paula. They don't want, I don't want them to hate you. I don't want them to deal with you. It ain't about Paula Archer. It ain't about Foster Quarter. It ain't about Debbie, Bobby, Johnny, Slam, Bill. It's people who are doing good work, and it's people who are doing bad stuff. So let's separate them and get to some positive energy. Let's put a new spin. Let's not be the old lady with a house full of cats. And I don't mean to insult the many old ladies with a house full of cats out there either, you know, because I know y'all, you know, but you know what I'm saying, guys. You know, the narcissism has to stop. You know, let, let it be okay if you made a mistake, damn it. Get over it. You made a mistake. People, now, the other side of that is you guys got to go to someone with love and you got to be open and accept love you got to be open and accept support and 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 it's okay for somebody not to agree with you but that doesn't mean you cut off right. the communication you know because we're losing a lot of good people in rescue people are just getting out of it they just saying Fuck it. And, and that means the dogs are dying you know we're losing people who said oh i used to try but those people those people too mean those people did you know let's get it together guys let's be a better community you know so paula let you do your dogs because i'm not going to stay here this is that's the most if you guys want to cut it off now you can other than uh dog paula's got some dogs so don't cut it off because share these dogs let's get these dogs some homes do you guys know some of you guys that are watching us for the first time right because it's a bunch of people who are watching us paula for several years we've been here they don't know we're here right our show is usually better than this first of all let me tell you i don't talk this much we have guests we do stuff all right we try to educate but the one thing that you guys don't know is we've been averaging getting 12 dogs adopted uh, a week, all right? That is Paula Archer's work, you know? We've yeah. been doing that from this little bitty-ass show that, uh, no, oh, is that Cheryl? Cheryl? It is Cheryl. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't know you were there. That's okay. You're doing just fine. But I got to say, damn, Foster, you took most of my material. Oh, hey. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because, you know, I'm just that crazy old guy with a house full of cats, man. You know? so, but no, you ain't crazy, baby. You just ain't crazy. I uh, so agree with everything you've said. Um, I couldn't go to bed. I couldn't go to sleep last night. I was probably awake in bed till midnight at least because mm -hmm. I just kept thinking about this whole thing. And um, I just, what I wanted to say is we need a new perspective, and I want to give a new perspective. There are hundreds of thousands of people out there who are rescuing dogs and advocating for dogs, helping people keep their dogs, helping dogs get out of shelters, helping dogs get the medical help they need and spay, neuter, all that other stuff. Hundreds of thousands of them, right. and they're all operating without hating on each other. Hmm. So we have to stand together, those of us who choose to work together, even if we don't agree with how the other person does things, right. work together because we are here for the dogs. We need to stand together and say, look, if you haters, trolls, uh, stalkers, whatever the fuck it is you're doing out there that makes you feel like you validated yourself and your existence, if they want to do that, go choose another cause. Go save people. Go. We don't need it because, like you said, Foster, you are being a detriment to the dog. You are the interfering are with dying. what we are trying to do, and we just don't want to tolerate it anymore. That's yeah. it. That's I'm it. done. That's it. Well, thank you, dear, because let, let me tell you, um, this lady, you know, and again, people, there, people do make sense out here, you know, and I was, I was having a conversation with one woman, and 
you know, and I have respect for her. And, you know, she's one of the bullets deep into these, these conversations. And, you know, her name's been bashed. She's been bashing, you know, it's been just back and forth. And she made a statement to me that I just had to share because it's so, it's, she said, we are angry. We are tired. We are punchy. And as much as we try to stay away from it, if anything comes up and sparks the little association, we spring like snakes. And Lord, that's the, so, so true because that's what I was feeling yesterday or the day before. It's like it was a, I had fallen into a pit of snakes, Paula. Uh, Cheryl, it was like a pit of vipers, man. Just people biting, you know, and I got to read. I got to read this, man, and I guess it's, uh, well, I don't really have to. I want to do the dogs, Paula. I want to get the dogs, but it was, it's a s statement. Someone escaped, sent me the, um, okay, okay, guys, here we go. First of all, if you've ever responded to a post, okay, here we go. Uh, because, again, I think everybody's based in love, though, Paula. But listen, we need to understand the definition of Internet troll. An uh, Internet troll is a person who urges, who urges, oh, I'm sorry, who uses animosity to cause frustration, anger, impatience, and are generally disruptive uh, is disruptive or seemingly good reason except to be no good reason except to be a nuisance most are soulless bastards touched by daddy priest and instead of coping with the trauma in a healthy way <laughs> take out their aggression anger and impotence frustration and other stuff uh on other people having problems forming real lives relationships and have a hard time attracting members of the opposite sex and uh, and this is doc doctors have done these studies um, right but wait a minute it's another it's it's uh it was okay here someone here oh someone's p sole purpose in life is to seek out people to argue with Come on, people. You got better time, better stuff to do with your time. So they use YouTube and Facebook, and they will use false, um, false identities and act like they befriend people to to cause drama and stuff. So bottom line is everybody knows the internet troll uh, is an asshole. Okay. So Paula, I'm done, man. Let's save some dogs. Hey, if you guys can share these dogs, if you can help the uh, move these dogs around the country, cross post them, do whatever, uh, we can get some new homes and we can keep up with our reputation. We want to help you save some dogs. We want to help you rescue dogs. We want to help your rescue. I swear to God, I like to do nothing more. Better. If you go to our page and look at our past shows, and you see what we're about. You know, um, nothing but. So, Paula, Chris, take it away. Let's save some dogs. And we'll come back, and I'm going to get out of here, man, because, you know, I'm done. And hate me if y'all want to. I don't care. Paula, go. Chris, if you would put up the um, flyer. The, it's the first, very first one. And while everybody is looking at that flyer, I want to encourage everybody to show up tomorrow. Uh, for California City's event, it's going to be uh, quite, um, quite good. There's they're giving away some freebies and everything like that. And while you're reading that, you can also go to um, Foster's Animal World group page and get the specifics. But I want to say from Tuesday's show from Sebring Shelter, we had 15 dogs saved. And from Vermilion Shelter, so far we've had uh, five saved. That was uh, actually right before the show that I checked. So that's 20 dogs from Tuesday that have been uh, saved, rescued, or adopted. So now, uh, Chris, if you are ready, we will start with our first one for today. And she is... Diamond, she's a pit bull lab mix, 
this sweet girl is shy at first but seems very friendly. She was surrendered because she doesn't do well with cats. So the cat lady might not want to adopt this one. Um, she, they were going to get more information on her, but I haven't gotten that yet. So our next one that we have, number two, is Susie. Uh, she's an unaltered Staffordshire Bull Terrier. She's about three years old. This little girl may talk tough in her kennel. Now that she's been here a while and is a little bit stressed with all the noise lately, but she's a loving, affectionate, and gentle girl. She really just wants to be a lap dog, and despite her size, she's a bit like she likes snuggling and snorting like a ball. She is so worth it all. She's a wonderful little girl and needs a home who will offer her as much love as she has to give. Now our next one is Izzy. Izzy is about eight months old and is a American Pitbull Staffordshire mix. Owners surrender because the older dogs <clears throat> excuse me, were not getting along with her. She is very active and playful. Well, she's eight months old. So she, but she is also very gentle and good mannered. She is a happy puppy and will do well in a home where she can be kept busy. Now the next one we have is Dallas. His real name is Chico. He's a neutered pit bull, approximately 50 pounds. A few days after he came in, they found a note that had blown away. The note indicates that Chico was being surrendered because he was not good with the owner's small dogs. The way it was written, it sounds like he was a bit jealous. He was left with his muzzle because the owner thought that someone may be scared to handle him and wanted to keep everyone comfortable. He was well cared for, well loved, and his owner speaks quite highly of him in the note that was left behind. We sure hope that someone who doesn't have smaller dogs can give Chico a wonderful loving home again. Now we have Envy. I'm sure you probably remember her. <clears throat> she is. She came into the shelter on 4-3 of this year. She is a female unaltered. She is up to date on vaccinations and she is probably under a year old. This sweet young girl was surrendered due to a family hardship and she was surrendered with her friend, a Yorkie mix called Bubbles. Bubbles has since been adopted. Envy is very playful, happy, and energetic. A young dog who doesn't seem to have had much training, but she does want to please. She will sit, but in her current situation, she's both stressed and excited, and it's hard for her to stay focused. She would do great in any active household that will have time to teach her basic obedience. She doesn't seem to know how to interact with bigger dogs, but she's not acting aggressively either. Bubbles was small, and she did fine with her. Now we have Penelope. Penelope is unaltered. She's a staffy mix, approximately three years old. She was found as a stray. As you can see, her nose is terribly burned, but is otherwise in great health, and she has wonderful manners. Someone has loved her enough to work with her, and we hope she is missed. If she's not reclaimed, she will do well in most homes that can keep her active. As of today, she's not been reclaimed, so she's quite a quite a pretty girl. Um, next up we have Davy. Davy is an unaltered uh, pit bull mix. He is a very sweet boy. He came in with Dolly and he's a loving and very affectionate young dog, uh, probably no more than 18 months old he is available immediately. Now these dogs that have uh, that I've shared with you today they are from the California City Shelter. Their address is 5000 Lindbergh Street, California City, California. Shelter hours are 8 to 12 daily 
and they have that big event tomorrow, so go see the dogs and attend the event. The phone number there is 760-373-1115. And that's all the dogs I have for today, guys. <laughs> all right. All right. So, hey, Cheryl. Yeah. Um, okay. So, I, like I said, it's a short show today. We don't have any guests in the studio. Uh, if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for tuning in. Only thing we ask, guys, help keep us on the air or not. Uh, go to Foster's Animal World on TV and <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Or leave a comment. Talk about how you hate that monk. How this guy, who he's got a lot of nerve. Who he thinking that? <laughs> or just wait a minute. There's a concept, Chris. I got a crazy idea, okay? <laughs> How about show some love? Show some love for a brother. Show some love for some fellow animal activists. Hit that subscribe button. Send it to your friends. This, If you're seeing this live, we'll have the archive show up, you know, later on the day or tomorrow. Share it with somebody. Say, hey, you know what? This guy pisses me off, but, you know, I have to agree with him on something. You know, I hope I hit a point there somewhere. It made some sense. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I operate from love. I'm just spewing from my heart, man. I love dogs. I've had pit bulls for 35 years. I know there's so many dogs dying that are not even pit bulls. There are all kinds of dogs. I want to, um, I want to talk about you know, the, the whales, I want to talk about the black fishes. I want to talk about the, the, the situation in Nepal. I want to talk about all of the other animals that are losing their lives and being treated. I want to talk about the farm animal issues and other stuff. I don't want to talk about people fighting and bullshit and that don't mean nothing. It ain't saving one dog. Cheryl? Yeah. It ain't saving nothing. You know, if you that's say, the point. he that's said, she the point. said. You know, so let's let's be some. So that's the guy for the the lady that said he's a wannabe or whatever. <laughs> I'm not a wannabe. I am. <laughs> I really am. You know, I'm the guy right here today just talking this stuff that who trying to make the world a better place. That's the guy I want to be. All right. So I love everyone. Paula, I love you. Cheryl, I love you. Um, back. Everybody that's watching today, uh, I love you. I have nothing but love for all of you all over the world. And all we need is two more subscribers, I think. So you could be that person. Hit that button, and I'll subscribe back, man. You know, because I'm trying to learn. I, I don't know nothing. I know that. See you later. I'm a pit bull, love and I approve honey. this message. Bye. Thank you.